Matthew chapter 5, verse 43 to 48. It says there, You have heard that it was said, Love your neighbour and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your Father in heaven. He causes his son to rise on the evil and the good and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. If you love those who love you, what reward will you get? And not even the tax collectors doing that? And if you greet only your own people, what are you doing more than others? Do not even pagans do that? Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. We live in a world that says we need to take revenge. We live in a world that says, look out for number one, look out for yourself. You may even look out for the few people around you, those that are close to you, maybe some family, maybe some close friends. But how often do we look out for those that we don't know? How often do we look out for those that live across the street that we may only recognise when we go past them or when they're driving out their driveway? What about people in the next town, the next suburb, the next city, the next nation? How much do we care for them as well? See, Jesus later says that we're to, to love our neighbour as ourself. And our neighbour may well be our friend, but our neighbour may well be our enemy as well. Whichever they are, Jesus here is saying to go above and beyond for all people, all who are our neighbour. See, where the goal of this isn't just to, to get them to change their attitude and change their ways and, and come back to Jesus or come to Jesus in the first place. The goal is to be perfect, just as our Heavenly Father is perfect. When the Bible says to be perfect, what it's saying is to be complete or whole which implies that we're not by ourselves complete. We actually need one another to be complete as well. We need to care for others to find that wholeness in ourself. That's why when we do something nice for another person, why we feel good about ourselves, it's bringing about that completeness in us. But we're to go above and beyond. We can't just be like everybody else. We have to go even beyond that, just as God has done. See, we've just had plenty of rain just in the past few weeks. And that rain has fallen on, on everyone everywhere within its path. In some places, we've had flooding and, and things like that, and there's been devastation. In other places where they haven't had rain for, for years even, suddenly their dams are being full and they're rejoicing. See, God gives these kinds of things Right across the board, we all receive it, but what Jesus did on the cross, he did for those that will accept it. When we love our enemies, we're doing just as Jesus did for us. He demonstrated love for us while he was on the cross, while he was paying the price that, that we should have paid, when he took our pain, when he took our suffering, when he took our sin, and he dealt with it once and for all on the cross of Calvary. That's what we remember at Easter. That's what we remember every Sunday when we come to church. Don't just do the bare minimum, but go the whole hog just as Jesus did for us. Whether they're a friend, whether they're family, whether they're an enemy. Show God's love just as he's shown his love to you. God bless.